Hey, what's up guys? We're going to do just a quick run through of a review. I decided to get a 5600X as my CPU and I wanted to use the Wraith Stealth Cooler that came with the CPU and so I wanted to do a review on it. And so this is the this is the heat sink that comes with the processor. Uh, AMD calls it the Wraith Stealth Cooler. So for the test setup, we have the 5600X. It's running at stock speeds right out of the box, 3.7 gigahertz base and a 4.6 boost. RAM, uh, 16 gigabytes G skill rip jaws V series. And the timings are 18, 22, 22, 42 and 1.35 volts and um, it's running at 3600 megahertz and I left the bottle number for you guys and that's running 3600 megahertz in the XMP profile. Uh, Founders Edition video card running stock, no overclock on the video card. Motherboard is MSI MPGX 570 Gaming Plus and then the case that it's built into is the Rio Toro CR 1080 two 120s in the front and a 92 millimeter exhaust and a 500 watt power supply. Uh, 500 watts doesn't seem like a whole lot, but the system max pulls about 350, so it's more than enough, more than enough to handle everything that's inside the the case that's running. The 5600X is 65 watt TDP, and the 1070 pulls max 150 watts, so everything everything is fine there. So, the way I just tested these is I just would spin up Core Temp before I ran a game, see that it was running at like 45 to 50 degrees Celsius idle, and then the game would launch and it would capture the highest temperature uh, of the test highest temperature of the game so when the game starts core temp would track the temps of the gameplay run and the numbers were recorded after it was done so after it was done i would shut the game down and shut down core temp and then let the system go back to idle temperatures around 45 44, 45 degrees Celsius, and then I'd start up a new game and then test and see what the highest temp reading of the next game was. And so we we're always going from 45 degrees Celsius to whatever the temp the game the game came up having after the game run. Each game was tested for about 20 minutes. So the benchmarks are games. All the games run at 4K and it was 4k low settings for each game all the temperatures were recorded after 20 minutes of gameplay and several testing playthroughs determined their temperatures one game that was maxed out was ukulele and the impossible layer that's because that game's fairly easy to run at 4k max settings all the other games had to do 4k low to get decent frame rates so this is just what AMD says that the race stealth cooler should do. AMD says the stock cooler is fine and that running up to 95 Celsius is fine for the CPU under load. And you know, in the next few slides, you'll see how it does. So these are just some data points. So it held up pretty well. Uh, average gaming temperature for the CPU was 76.875 Celsius. The lowest gaming temperature in ukulele and the impossible layer was 66 Celsius. And the highest temperature recorded was Apex Legends at 87 Celsius. So here's a graph and this shows all the temperatures that are recorded on the 5600X. Uh, you can see ukulele is at a really cool temperature of 66 degrees. And then I tested Resident Evil 4 and that was 69. And then Rise of the Tomb Raider is a 2015 game that came in at 74 degrees. And then, you know, you ha we have a Plague Tale Innocence coming in at 76. And Slay the Spire was interesting because the game's a 500 megabyte indie game and it came in 
at like 77 degrees Celsius. And then, you know, as we start getting into more modern games, I don't own the Immortals Phoenix Rising, but I did play the demo for 20 minutes and it recorded 81 Celsius on the CPU. Assassin's Creed Origins recorded 85 Celsius on the CPU, so we're getting pretty high. And then Apex Legends recorded a high of 87 Celsius. I played several playthroughs of Apex Legends and the high on the CPU generally was between 85, 86, or 87. 87 was the highest that I had recorded. It's my most played game that I play all the time generally. So yeah, this was 87 degrees and this red bar is 95 degrees. This is what AMD says is the max operating temperature of the 5600X. So generally, games will be below 80 Celsius, which I marked in green because you generally want your games to be running below 80 Celsius on your CPU, or you want your CPU to be running below 80 Celsius, uh, just because that's generally what a lot of people say is a, a safer temperature for your CPU to be operating at so that you don't wear your CPU out, CPU out too long, but AMD themselves said 95 is fine so none of the games got even into the 90s so that's good but yeah these three games immortals assassin's creed and apex legends did really push the cpu pretty hard on the stock cooler and that this is just a page that shows all the data that was in the bar graph just shows in in a uh, table layout uh, Just a little different. So if you guys want to pause the video and just look at the, the data in a different way I just threw that in there uh, And these are just two other metrics when I ran windows and idle Yeah, I generally saw 44 to 45 Celsius being recorded in core temp when I ran 3d mark fire strike had a max CPU temp of 81 degrees Celsius so a little bit above 80, generally okay. So yeah, conclusion, the stock cooler is fine in most applications, but yeah, you definitely should not overclock the CPU on the stock cooler because you can barely handle the stock voltage and power draw and heat. And yeah, there's literal, there's literal headroom to push the CPU further on the stock cooler. And if you're on a tight budget, you can get by with the stock cooler, I think generally for several months or weeks or however long you want to but yeah most because most games will be around 70 cells low 70 low to mid 70s or you know will range into the 80s or upper 80s just depends on the games and yeah the stock cooler gets the job done but I really would not trust it with an overclock and it does run hot so it's yeah, if you do want to overclock, I would really recommend spending 60 bucks and get a good heat sink, like, uh, you know, one from Cooler Master or Noctua, or get a good all-in-one liquid cooler from Corsair or some other, some other brand um, to keep it cool, you know. Um, it will just generally, for overclockers, yeah, you there's almost no headroom to overclock with the Wraith Stealth. It's pretty much bare bones. So yeah, I mean, it'll get the job done um, for a little while, but yeah, it's gonna make the CPU run pretty hot. And I just thought I'd make this video because I didn't really see anybody posting numbers on what they themselves got in games and I hope this helps somebody when they're building a system if they want to use the stock cooler their CPU is going to your CPU is going to run pretty hot but you know it's definitely definitely will work on a budget for sure